my name is Katherine Ryan. Welcome to my channel. It's been a long time coming. I've wanted to make videos. I, I've always wanted to make videos. I've always wanted to have a consistent YouTube channel. Shut up, Gars. I turned 22 last month. I think a great way to start my videos would be to tell you 22 random things. Oh, excuse me. 22 random things about me. I guess the first one would be that I have this creature. This is Clover. How old are you? Two? She's like, you don't usually wear lipstick. What's going on? Yep, this is Clover. I have a cat. She's great. She is a little troublemaker, um, but I love her dearly. She has the craziest attitude ever, and she hates my sister. So Kelsey, if you're watching this, now the internet knows. She's very talkative. She's hilarious. I love her. Oh, you see a car? Is that exciting? She really wants to go up on the windowsill, but my camera's there, so I'm sorry. You can go this way though. Number two. I live on Vancouver Island, Canada. I love it here. It doesn't snow really. It's the warmest place in Canada. Yeah, the ocean's gorgeous. The community is so slow paced and awesome and hippies are everywhere. It's really fun. Number three. I got my yoga certification last February, 2015 last February on the island of Maui, Hawaii. And yeah, so I can teach yoga now. Don't ask me to, because I haven't been, but I know a lot about it now and I find it really interesting. So hopefully that'll be a thing that happens in the future. Number four. I grew up in Calgary, Alberta, which is basically like the complete opposite of Victoria. Super conservative, uh, very cold in the winter, very dry, whereas here it's very liberal and very humid and um, there's an ocean, so that's a big difference. But I moved here basically as soon as I <laughs> graduated high school. I just needed to get out of that city. I never really vibed with it. I know a lot of people really like it, but I, for some reason, I just, I just didn't. Number five. I am 5'9", so I'm pretty tall. Number six. I used to think I could talk to the wind when I was younger and I would sit out on our patio when it was windy in Calgary and I would just open my arms and yeah and just talk to it and tell it my secrets I don't know if that's beautiful or just really weird number seven I have a younger sister she is 20 she's 20 20. Number Ocho. I have one tattoo as of now. I got it when I was 20 and it's my mother's handwriting. Number nine. I am working on and almost finished my biology degree at the University of Victoria. Number 10. So much cat hair just flew up. I love travel. I love it. My most recent trip was to Mexico. Um, before that I was in Hawaii, obviously. I've gone to Italy and France, Chile and Costa Rica, lots of places. I love it. I'm so addicted. It's so, it's, it's bad. It costs a lot of money. Number 11. I love coffee. Mm. I love it. Are we filming? Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Stay. What number am I on? Uh, Coffee, I love it. Number 12. I am a vegetarian. Well, actually, I am a pescatarian. One minute, she wants out. <sighs> Where was I? I have been vegetarian slash pescatarian for about six years now. I just never really liked red meat too much, so that wasn't super hard to give up. Chicken, I miss sometimes, but if it's not bothering me to not eat it, I'm not going to. That's one less person to kill chickens for, basically. Honestly, it is fun to try to come up with new recipes to get, to supplement protein and um, the correct amino acids and stuff like that. I, I love it, as of now. Might change in the future, but. My favorite music is anything a little bit different, really. I'm not super into pop. It definitely has its place, especially like if you're clubbing. But generally, I like, um, if it's electronic, it needs to be a little bit different. Um, I really like, God. I listen to a lot of songs, of playlists. Well, I guess it's not songs anymore. It's 
Google Play. Anything folk, alt rock. I'm pretty sure I was like a frat boy in my last life. I love Sublime and Dave Matthews and OAR. I get made fun of for it, but bitch, I do what I want. Number 14. 14. I recently met, went to Mexico and ended up playing with wild gray whale calves in the lagoon of San Ignacio in Baja California sewer. This was the most incredible experience. It was so spiritual. Those animals are insane. I'll put a picture up <laughs> there. If you want to hear more about it, please just let me know. I will talk about it until the world ends. I, I love whales. I love them so much. Number 15. I have abnormally large hands. For reference, here's my iPhone SE that I just bought. Thanks, Mom. Number 16. I almost went to art school. I was in art all through high school. I was in Art AP. I love art, but I also love science, and I ended up going in the science route and doing art as a side project. People can make a living out of art, but for me it just made more sense to go the science route because I loved both, and it just made more sense. And now I can still do art as a side project, and it's great. I feel like doing something that you love so much as a job sometimes makes you enjoy it less, if that makes any sense. And I didn't want that to happen with art and me. Number 17. My favorite book is Art of Racing in the Rain by uh, let me sing in. by Garth Stein. I should know that. Um, it's an amazing book. It's about a dog named Enzo who basically has a human personality and it's a really quick read. I definitely recommend it. I'm not one to usually cry during books and I was sobbing. It's so good. It's so good. Number 18. <laughs> so I, I uh, messaged my mom trying to come up with a list of 22 things, interesting things about me. All she sent back was, you're a nerd. So, yep, I am. Number 19. I can speak rough Spanish. I have been to several Spanish-speaking countries, Mexico, Chile, Costa Rica. Yeah, only three. Hmm. I did it in high school, and I did a little bit of it in um, university as well, so I am not fluent by any stretch of the imagination, but I can get by. Basically, I just know present verb conjugations like pretty well, and I feel like that's a lot of the language. Number 20. I am rereading The Sight right now, which is a book by David Clement Davies. This is it. It's really um, messed up because it's on the beach with me and I've had it for years. It's really good, especially if you're an animal lover like me. It's um, basically about wolves and it's from the perspective of wolves living in Transylvania. I will read you the back. In the shadow of the Carpathian Mountains, a pack of wolves seeks shelter from the vicious winter. A legend clings to them, a story of man and wolf, of power and death. The sight has come into their world. They will never be the same again. It's really good. If you like animals, you should read this book. He also wrote one called Firebringer, which is about deer, which is arguably better from what I remember. But I just think wolves are more exciting. Number 21. These just these Birkenstocks, um, the ones with the two straps. My mom's ex-boyfriend used to call them my lesbian shoes. I'm not a lesbian. I have nothing against lesbians and I think it's kind of fitting. Who knows? But I love them. I wear them everywhere. This is my second pair. My other ones I wore so much. They lasted me years. I traveled in them. I walked in the ocean with them. They are my best friends and I don't care what anybody thinks. If you haven't tried Birkenstocks, try them. Yeah, these are good. Number 22. My favorite meal of all time is the bibimbap. I hope I'm saying that properly. The bibimbap from Earl. If you don't have Earl's where you are, it's basically a chain restaurant with like fusion food. It's like a Moxie's. It's delicious. I love Earl's. I grew up with Earl's. It's one of my favorite restaurants. In that's never gonna change. I've never had bibimbap before. It is so good. Oh my God. Well, that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you 
relate to anything that I talked about, then maybe we can be friends. Who knows? Yeah, I'll be making new videos hopefully every week or every two weeks. Maybe more, who knows? I don't know. I'm going to get more comfortable in front of the camera, but right now it's just all very new. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and um, I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit more, and I look forward to talking to you guys in the future. Have a wonderful day.